since I'm back, I thought I'd just show you the rest. Everything's a holy mess because that's what happens when I make anything. Um, so I put those in, those right there, and I put like six um, whole ones. And this blender does it just fine. The blender's a mess too because I made a mess. That's what that's what it looks like. That's what grosses everyone out. There's like three quarters of a tiny banana. So you get a banana. It's tiny. I hope the first part of this posts before the second part, or that'll be weird. Um, and then you just blend it. It doesn't get any more attractive, I'm sorry. It stays really ugly. <laughs> Actually a really small one. I usually make them a little bit bigger. Than that. No, that's about right. So there's that. And then all I do after Kale's gonna fall. Why is the bag so big? It's not, I gotta feed that to the bunnies. Anyway, then I take, I get this at all these, and it's really good. Um, it's non fat Greek, like Greek yogurt, and it thickens it up. And I put about, I don't know, two tablespoons. What's the serving size of Oh. The serving size is a cup? Good God. Well, I don't put a cup in. <laughs> I put about two, like, I don't know, like those serving spoons. So I probably end up putting about half a cup in. <laughs> I don't put a cup in. That's a lot of yogurt. Um, so probably like two dollops like that. That big. Just put it in there, smooth it up, and then you just drink it and don't think about what it looks like because it's super good for you as you got your green foods and you got your potassium which is important in the summer you got your strawberries which are just good and your yogurt which is good for women and your dairy and I also I put cinnamon in mine not like whole cinnamon sticks but like I don't know I think it's like a teaspoon of cinnamon or something because it's good for um, uh, joint pain and I think that's what it is, joint pain and maybe blood pressure, but I, it's joint swelling and joint pain. So I put cinnamon in mine and you don't want to put very much because you can taste it and it tastes like crap it, with strawberries and bananas. So don't put very much. Anyway, that's it. That's why they look gross, but that's what's in them. So now, as you can see, they taste really good. And I promise you, you can't taste the kale and you can't taste the coconut. Um, but you can taste the bananas and the strawberries. The secret is to like pick fruits that have really strong flavors. Uh, blueberries work really well, blackberries, raspberries, any kind of a berry that has a really strong flavor and um, do, do the kale like that first and it just totally kills the kale flavor. You can use spinach too. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than the kale but this massive thing of kale, this thing is huge it's massive it's six it's like 16 ounces it's a pound of kale and I paid like 378 for it I can't even use it all that's why I feed the rabbits so it doesn't go bad so it's huge so um, spinach the containers are quite a bit smaller and they're um, they are cheaper though so if you don't feed rabbits you get spinach I guess <laughs> See, I make a mess. Everything's a mess. Look at this. It's just a disaster area. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, go make a smoothie. Bye, guys.